You've probably used Google Maps many times so far and zoomed from the initial zoom of our planet to the maximum zoom. For example, to the zoom that Google Maps allows you for your requested location. Google Maps gives you many types of maps, such as travel, off-road, satellite, street, 3D and more. Take a look at these few zooms of the satellite map from the initial zoom to the zoom of the following cities. New York, London, Belgrade, Novi Sad and my hometown Subotica. Please pay attention to the rectangles and numbers inside them. For New York, I chose the Statue of Liberty for the ultimate zoom. For London, I chose Tower Bridge for the ultimate zoom. For Belgrade, I chose Belgrade on water for the ultimate zoom. For Novi Sad, I chose Sloboda Square for the ultimate zoom. For Subotica, I chose Sloboda Square for the final zoom, more precisely the new fountain. Let's go back to the rectangles, that is, pictures in them, which allow us to fully display the zoom map we have selected to the desired destination. From the sharpness, for example the quality of each rectangle, the thumbnails also depend on their size and bytes. The sharper and clearer the thumbnail, the higher the number of bytes. Multi-byte images load slower and you wait longer for the on-screen map to complete. Let me explain in more detail how it works. The initial zoom of the whole planet is zoom 1, which is one frame that is 256 times 256 pixels with numbers 0.0. .0. The next zoom 2 are 4 frames with numbers 0.0, .0 0.1, 1.0, 1.1, and so on until the zoom for a particular location. Zoom 16 already has over 1 billion such thumbnails, while Zoom 21 has over a billion thumbnails. If we went with an even bigger zoom, we would get a huge number of thumbnails that would clog the servers that have Google Maps. Although, I wonder why we need a zoom of this size. In case we still need a larger zoom, for example, sharper and more precise than the one provided by Google Maps, we can make our own maps with the help of drones and Google Apps with the zoom we need. To take pictures of a location from a bird's eye view, we used to need a plane or a helicopter, while well, now we can do it with a drone. Through these images and programming using Google Apps, we can reach the desired goal. The goal of this video is to show you that. As a goal, I chose a new fountain in Subotic on Sloboda Square, which was installed last April. However, the satellite Google map shows the situation from more than two years ago, as you can see and check. The reason is that Google doesn't manage to do and place all locations on its Google map servers in a certain time interval. In this example of mine, I mapped out individual elements in and around the fountain such as water jets, spotlights and benches. As you can see, by clicking the mouse on individual mapped elements seen on the map, in and around the fountain, you can display various data, images, videos and the like. If you're interested in how it's done, please follow, like and write a comment where you would like to apply.